Hi all, welcome to another Banter Blitz Chess 24. It's approaching 11.30 UK time. Okay, I'm just writing, waiting for my preview screen. Okay, and I'm going to mute there. Uh, let's have a look at the voucher code screen first. You can get 15% off with the voucher code King's Crusher. You can get to play Magnus Carlsen, the world chess champion. What more could you want? Other grandmasters and other fantastic perks of being a premium member. So you need to be a premium member to challenge uh, the streamers. You just turn up like 15 minutes before, 15 to 30 minutes before. It goes on our list of challenges and we can challenge you. So, uh, okay, let's go to the challenge screen and take the first challenge today. So Don Williams, that was a fantastic challenge last week. He let me off with a draw offer last week. Let's see what happens this time. Um, okay, I'll try and play knight c3. I think I did surprise him a a couple of weeks back with this system uh, was it more than that so e4 okay let's see e4 trying to encourage some light square weaknesses okay I'm hoping this is like a, a kind of reverse tango that I quite kind of enjoy playing so I'm holding e4 from g3 here So audio and visual is okay. Please let me know. And uh, I'll have that, that parking space for that bishop, I think. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy with this as a sort of start position. I'm not so happy with that move. I don't really want to take on e6 to help my opponent's f5 square. So I'd rather play this, actually. Okay, so f5 has been compromised a bit. Let's go in there actually. So knight d7, knight takes d6. I might be threatening bishop h6, queen d2. There's knight g4, h3. It's it's getting interesting already. The idea of bishop h6. Um, not quite here. Maybe g4 is a lot of fun though for g5. So I haven't even castled, but I'm thinking the rook could be really useful for rook g1. Yeah, I'll try and get closer to the screen a bit, I think. Uh -uh. Whoa, well, pardon me. Okay, just getting overexcited there with G4. <laughs> okay, so G5, it looks dangerous. Knight G4, Rook G1, it just looks as though that should be an amazing attack. A fast G5 here, it looks as though fast G5 is very exciting. Oh, H4 looks really, really cool. That default rook just being used there. This looks super cool to me to use that default position of the rook. I think I've got everything I want from this opening. Yeah. Okay. Knight takes g5 or hg. Knight takes g5 might be the way to go. I can take with check and then take on g4 after. So I'm going to be playing Queen takes G4 soon. It looks as though to me this looks all over, to be honest. I cannot see how black can defend, but maybe I'm wrong. Bishop G5, if F6, Bishop F6. This looks crushing, just this move, let alone HG. Yes, this looks as though it's gone all wrong. The the dreaded reverse tango has struck. Okay, thanks for the game, Don. Uh, okay, so Kasparov fan. Let's try that again. It was such a success. With black, I'm going to try and play the Sicilian defense. By the way, if you play e4, Sicilian Sveshnikov. I've been doing a, an interesting promo. Uh, in the last few days for the Sveshnikov, revisiting a lot of lines. So if you want a, if you want a Sveshnikov, I'll be playing a Sveshnikov. If you play e4, I'll play d4 here to challenge Black Center. Aha! Uh -huh. And this, because Bishop b7 looks dangerous to me. Okay, so g4. 
I'm testing uh, the position here. Check if I can get time to play H3. Try and consolidate. Go back here. Will there be a peace sack? I'm hoping for bishop e3 and castle queenside for bishop d4. Whoa, again, this is giving my default rook activity. My default rook position. Uh, <laughs> that surely is helping my cause. This looks like it's helping my cause as well. Okay, there's bishop h4, but king f1. Uh, maybe I run into trouble with knight g4, queen g4, bishop f5. Okay, I'll put my king, just in case I'm going to put my king here. I'm hoping I'm not running into too much trouble. I want to play knight f3. So I, I've noted this kind of alignment of the rook to my king, thinking that maybe, maybe, uh, you know, knight g4. And bishop f5 don't like that alignment going on. Maybe the king's a little bit safer on d1 here. Okay, I'm gonna kick that bishop out of the h file. Uh if I can. Oh this looks nice, nice h4 for knight g6, for bishop d5, bishop e6, fe threatening e7. It looks as though that's um, strong. Um, how strong? Pretty strong. <laughs> it's tempting. It's tempting. I'm tempted. I get a bishop and uh, say a rook immediately, but there's knight e7 after. Maybe I should just play a sane move, a saner move, like queen c4. If knight before queen d2, this is so tempting to calculate. Um. Oh, oh, it's a crowd, a crowd pleaser. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna take the rook first, even before knight g6, because I want to play bishop d5. Without any rookie six, now I'm in trouble. This doesn't look as though I, could, I actually it looks really dangerous. Rook h8 to win the queen on rook h8 anyway. Can I can I cash out? Yeah, this does look mega dangerous for rook h8. King d7, bishop e6, checkmate, checkmate, rook h8, bishop e6 will be checkmate. No, this looks far too dangerous for black. I got too many pieces on uh, squares around the king here, the knight, the bishop. Rook h8, king d7, bishop e6, checkmate. It looks overwhelming force. I'm biased though, I'm, I'm optimistically biased here. Um, let's see, knight e7. Check. I said at least winning the queen. No, I think there's a number of problems to solve here. Hold on, queen f6, queen f6. Is that the one? I wonder. Bishop d2 offering like bishop c3 next. That could be the pain of the position. Queen f6. Just calculate rook h8 there. Well. Again, bishop e6 after is is going to have to give up the queen, I think, because the bishop's not going to be holding e6. I think that should be fun, bishop e6 here. Huh? Unless there's something even stronger. Bishop e6 looks simple and strong. So king is yes. Thanks for the game. Spawn fan, yes, I think that's too dangerous. King d7, bishop e6 is winning the queen. Okay. Now, 
talk Medita. Uh, if you play E4, I'll play the Sicilian. Telling you in advance. Trying to practice a bit my Svechnikov. <clears throat> If we go into Svechnikov, but we haven't, but maybe if, if any of you want to follow the Svechnikov after, I'll go into that. This is a, a fast and furious three minute game, isn't it? I love this F5 stuff. <clears throat> so knight F5 to H4, or B6, D5. I think I've shielded h6 here. If I can just kick this knight. Uh, or d can I not just take on d4 here? Or h4? Oh, knight h5 to f3. So knight moves knight here, threatening knight f3. Also, queen g5 is uh, probably fun. Just going for this bishop. Yeah, I think this bishop's now a tactical problem. Ah, oh, the bishop is a tactical problem. Um, yeah. No, I think I'll just take that. All right, thanks for the game talk. Okay. Ralph Quest. Okay, Sicilian defense. If you play e4, that's my promise today. Sicilian defense if you play e4. None of this knight c6. Okay, this is a proper anti Sicilian Sveshnikov line. I'll go with this f5, f4 again now. Yes, immediately. This looks like an attacking position for free, so to speak. Knight g6, g4, f3. I like to play knight g6 to stop knight h4. Form pawn. I can threaten b5 for fun. <clears throat> Let's kick this knight back. Let's put this knight in here for fun. This looks like dynamic to me. Okay. Uh, there's a few dynamic things. Knight h3 looks looks interesting. To so be threatening knight f2. Uh, what else? Rook a7. Close down the dark squares. Rook a7 transferring to f7. I've been inspired by Leela recently. New 60 network. There's rook transfers in Leela games. Okay, so knight d4 looks tempting. Uh, yeah, okay. I'll get my rook over, I think, to h5. Uh, let's keep this bishop hemmed in positionally. I think queen g5 would be good. Oh, hang on. All right, I'll protect that, but queen g5 in principle. 
uh, just to get this H file, maybe double the rooks on the H file later after H takes. So I just need to shuffle bishop f6, king g6, double the rooks, then something like knight g1. Knight g1, it looks like I'm mating that after king takes rook h2, threatening rook g2. That looks like I'm mating that. Not knight f2 though, but because rook f2, but knight g1 looks to me much more to the point. With the form pawn, actually protecting the form pawn as well. Okay, thanks for the game, Ralph. Okay, yeah, that was that was a bit dangerous, wasn't it? Goggin pool, Goggin pool. Um. The bishop b5 line used to be called the anti Sveshnikov line. Yes, it is Rosalima as well. I don't mind this pawn sack. Oh, count a pawn sack by black? What's going on here? What is this? Bishop d2. Okay, this looks pretty comfortable. If I castle and um, d5 or something, hmm, e5. Maybe I I should get my king out of the center. Sometimes it's dangerous to leave the king in the center too long. So bishop c2. Okay. If I took and played this. Uh huh. A4, b4, b5. That looks like a good idea. A4 to stop b5. Then b4, b5, or maybe a5, then, oh, too late. Okay. All right, I could take her. Still gain my space on the king side. Bishop d2. So I want to play b5, c4, bishop c3. Or maybe uh, Queen E1 is handy for Bishop A5. If I want to provoke B6, Queen E1, C4, Bishop A5. Uh, C4, Queen B3, D5 is also interesting. C4, Queen B3. And I think D4 is slightly vulnerable. Uh, or is it? Uh, I'll play it. So bishop c3, queen b3. With the idea maybe... Oh, I don't want to give counterplay. But it's happening, isn't it? Oh, okay. Um, I think an exchange sack might be useful coming up. If bishop g5. Oh, this is not convincing actually. Yeah, no, this could be trouble. Okay, a trouble ahead. Let's g3 this. Maybe. Okay. No, 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 no. Okay, what's that though? What's that? Too many pieces for the queen, I would say. Too many. Create the form pawn or rook, rook check first because a6. I think that's tying down my opponents. 
um, if I'm playing, well, I've got to be careful about Queen H5. Do I get time? I think D5 is going to be good. Oh, hang on, Rook G7 to B7 is crushing. I just noticed. It's good, good to get onto the forcing moves. Form pawn saves the day. All right, thanks for the game, Goggin. Yeah, um, yeah, that's very needed. That resource, uh, as it could get tricky uh, with those those pawns. Okay. Uh, Right, nickname master. Okay, one nickname, two nicknames. Okay, we got a game. Sicilian defense is promised. Oh wait, oh, we're getting to uh, especially off. Mm -hmm. Okay, I play this line. I'll just annotate the game earlier today in this. I don't know about a four. This is Carana's. A4 injection. Um, I'm not sure about it. Uh, so usually C4 was played before Carolina started playing A4. But let's pretend I don't care about A4 for a moment. I could kick this knight maybe before it's too late not to kick the knight. All right. Oh, do I do that? Or well, ninety-seven? I think ninety-seven. If takes queen b six, I can get away with this. I just want to protect b six for a moment. All right. If I took here for ninety-five. See, I've got I've got some problems here. <clears throat> uh, G five, F four. Is that too weakening? Am I weakening my dark squares too much? Uh, light squares too much. It does liberate the bishop. I think part of his plan is to. Keep the bishop constrained. If I unconstrain it with g5 and f4, I think Magnus did play g5 at some point in one of the games with black in that world championship. Uh, okay. f4, still steam ahead with f4. To give bishop f5, so get rid of that knight takes option. So if I can play f4 and bishop f5, this could be the time to pounce with knight c8. Okay. Heal my light squares by exchanging off the light square bishop. Alright. So rook e8, queen g7, g4, f3 looks good. That sort of plan. So queen g7, g4, I think is my intention. Yeah, I want to keep an eye on things like d7. So I want to play f3. Do I? Is that too dangerous? Oh, that's interesting. Okay, I want to play now rook f5. I guess knight d7, but rook f5. I'll be having rook h5. Uh, soon. So rook h5 is dangerous. 
All right, thanks for the game, uh, nickname master. Okay, uh, always blame the mouse. Okay, so I'll play this reverse tango again. Uh, is one mouse, two mice, three mice, four mice, a bit of coffee actually. Mm. I don't know if any of you have tried Coconut Pro from Al Pro. It's fantastic. I think it's the best coconut one they've made. Ah, we're here. Uh, okay, so bishop c4, d3, a3, bishop a2, h4, f castles. Let's start this. Okay, so this one. I'm using my default rook position rather than castling. And I think this is generally dangerous. So I think I did lose last week, but I might have had some chances last week. I didn't really analyze that game much, but I think, I suspect there was more dynamic play than I, I, I got out of that game last week. Oh, where something like this happened. So HG and knight G5 looks like some dynamic play. Uh, HG and Knight G5. I was watching an Akamura video on Chess 24 the other day. There's an excellent one to check out. Uh, he talks about getting play is difficult nowadays. Getting he didn't mean counterplay. He just said literally getting play, not not counterplay, just getting play. I thought that was really interesting. Uh, how you have to work theoretically to get play. Otherwise, it's just zero uh, a lot of the time. But he welcomes like Leela. He talked about that as well, creating a different valuations from like Stockfish or whatever. It was an interesting interview you can find on Chess24, yeah. Gustafsson uh, is uh, interviewing Nakamura um, on all sorts of topics uh, as well, not just chess, other interests as well. So let's see here, uh, E5, E5 for knight g5. Okay, rook b1. Knight g5 coming up. Actually, you know what? Knight d5 is also interesting to me. Bishop d5 for knight g5. That looks super interesting for some reason. Is it because I'm slightly crazy? <laughs> I wonder why. I wonder why this is interesting to me. Yeah, maybe I'm slightly uh, nuts. Okay, but I just think this this getting this diagonal with knight g5 is is interesting <laughs> because because uh, yeah, unless there's a counter queen sack, isn't this h6 queen h5? Isn't this isn't this super dangerous? This position. Oh, maybe maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Mind you, there's f5 here. This looks a bit juicy. It's not a bad return of investment so far, is it? For that knight sack, you get that knight sack in uh, Morris Smith Gambit's uh, lines. Um. Queen f5 now looks interesting. King e7, though. There's bishop g5. Oh, the fun continues. On king g8, bishop e6. On king e8, bishop e6. Ah, queen f5, bishop f6, rook h7. Ah, queen f6. Mm, queen f6. Okay, what about just bishop g5 here? Uh, is bishop g5 too simple? For rook f1, uh, you know maybe maybe rook f1 coming up is is nice, rook f1, or something else. Um, or bishop going back. Well, I mean, I think there's there's a number of things here. I suspect. 
Uh, Rook F1. Not sure if that's that clear. Rook F1. I'm, I don't need to push forward all the time. I can I can do a retreat move, right? I'll do a retreat move. I would like to bring this rook into the party. Maybe King E2. Uh, or just castle. Just ca can I castle? Get this rook at least to the D file. If I took that. Or King H1. Or King H2. King H2 actually looks a bit cozier. Uh, I can still play c3 soon, get this rook back looking at d8. Uh, and all, I can offer the rooks the chance to double each other on either f8 or d8, maybe d8, or maybe f8. Can't make up the mind. Okay. Um. F8 that knight is pinned. F8 looks interesting. Uh, there's also bishop e6, but rook f8 is interesting. Uh, it's two rooks for the queen. But yeah, this this looks fun for the moment. Oh. Bishop takes for Queen E five. Okay. There appears to be uh, some stuff to do here to try and win this. Um, exchange off Bishop. Queen c8 is threatened. But here, Queen d7 is dangerous, isn't it? Oh, there's Rook g8. Um, but, yeah. Uh, 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 okay. No, I don't know. All right, I'll tr I'll try this. I'll, I'll try this. Um, maybe I should keep uh that bishop around for a moment longer. I just want to be able to play Queen B seven. Harass these pawns. Keep the bishop blunted, I think, with this structure a little bit blunted. Okay, so is um is bishop f four is, is an option for bishop e five. Oh okay, okay. I'll oh, just blunder the queen. Uh there was knight f two <laughs> I just I just noticed knight f two <laughs> No, there really was, wasn't there? These accidents do happen. Uh, they're very easy to miss when you've only got 20 seconds, though. Oh, man. I, I, I suspect, unless I've just imagined it, I suspect. Um, Yeah. Uh, that was the case. There was a, knight, a nasty night fork. Tricky knights, as they say. Um... Yeah, I I think um, let's just check. Did I really do that? It's so easy to blunder to a knight fork, is that knight f two? All right, okay. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, area fifty one. Okay, 
All right, so Sicilian, if you play e4, if you want to play a Sveshnikov or not, as the case may be. Okay, we've had this before, this bit of discussion here. I, I thought this was okay, this idea of knight e4 and c5 later. Okay. So I think I'm okay here. It's a sort of French defense without the bad bishop. I might use the C file. Um, Bishop F6. By say Rook C6. Looks as I'm not using the C file that much. Is there a case for A4? Okay, I'll try A4. Get out of the pin. Maybe here. Safer. Than King H8 because there's no Queen F5 at the moment. Is there any merit to CD or Bishop takes or CD? I don't know. Possibly a quick D4. Or CD first. Let me see the first. There. I would, I would hope the G file is something. I go back. So rook g5, queen, queen e7. So I'm in the stream at the moment. Rook g2, queen h4. I get the rook round. Rook c8, rook g8. Did he just have f4 out of interest? He might have just had f4 there. That's a bit naughty. If I just missed it, because rook g6, it was check. Yeah, he might have just had f4 there. Oh, crikey. <clears throat> um, try and stop queen e7 or not. Maybe not. Or oh, maybe. I don't know. There's no F4 right now. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Okay. It's a bit intuition. It's a bit pre movie, this position as well. Um, I don't want to lose on time. Queen C1 to B2. It's a bit pre movie territory. F4. This ending, how is this ending? Hold 
Hold on. Yes, tough opponent. Thanks, Fast and Furious Challenge. It's a bit of fun, isn't it? Three minute. Oh, there's another one, but you have to be a premium member, please. Premium members only, please. Uh, there's another non premium. You have to be a premium member to challenge. I just need to decline those. Um, Lex. It's a you get the fifteen percent off that with the voucher code Kings Crush if you want to be a premium member and challenge that'd be really cool. Uh, and you can also challenge the lights of Magnus Carlson. It's a good investment. Say to everyone you played Magnus Carlson or your friends, family. I played Magnus Carlson, so you just need to become a premium member for a whole year. It's not much, and you get those opportunities. Okay, so not just me, but for all the other streamers. Vienna game. So I've been looking at this Vienna game a bit. So Castling and King H2. I think this is a solid style of Vienna when there's no F4 immediately. So it's more like a more like a King's engine attack in reverse. I like taking on f5 generally for in reverse. I like playing this for f4 and then g4 later in reverse. That feel of gripping the light squares. Um, so let's see. g4. Bishop e4. Bishop e4 is interesting. Bishop e4. Well, that's dropping a rook. Yes, there's light square disaster here. I thought there was anyway, even in takes, because a bishop d5 was dangerous. But yes, that's dropped bits. Bishop d5 for rook f7. Or just retracting the rook. Or just re retracting the rook. Just to have uh, knight e4 maybe, or knight d5 and c3. Just kick this knight back. So c3, blunt the bishop would be nice with d4 as well. Desirable to blunt that bishop. Queen g4 threatens knight f6 check as well as rook f5. It's good to have more than one threat on a move, difficult to parry. Okay, thanks, Lex. Uh, okay, Victor Russia. Mm, Victor Russia. Oh, a quick f5. Wow, I'm going to make this into a gambit. I'm gonna, this is going to be a gambit. Or is it? No, hang on. It's just an aggressive. It's an aggressive variation. He's made it a gambit. I'll try and get my light square grip going. <clears throat> So knight g3. I want my knight's grab grab. Maybe d3. Okay. If I just gambit there, pawn, 
There's always bishop f4 after. Bishop e4. I would hope this looks good because uh, the king's still in the center. Okay, queen h4, but the king's still in the center. D takes. I think it looks a bit airy for black right now. Looks a bit airy. I like having the bishop pair. Uh, knight b5 looks mega dangerous for knight c7 here, actually. Okay, so knight c7. Turning attention to try and win material instead. There's always queenie one if I need. Trying to challenge the queen here. All right, that does weaken my king a bit. It's a good practical move, perhaps. On the other hand, queen g3 doesn't that get the queens off? All right, thanks for the game, Victor. You weren't the victor on this occasion, okay? But maybe another time. Uh, okay, so here. Perinos Flogger. I might be pronouncing that wrong. Uh, okay. Hmm. This is the laziest system I can think of for any. It just seems to be a free attack given on the plate here, though. Ah, uh, if I just play like this, it just seems, I don't know, g4? G, why isn't g4 dangerous? I'm going to play queen g2 and h5. I, um, maybe d takes is... Is useful to stop knight f5. Queen g2 and h5. Queen g2 does does support c2. <clears throat> so bishop e3 and castling queenside or hg first just to make sure the rook's activated I think hg first okay uh, it's tempting just to use the h file but I'll I'll play this move to start off with and then castle. Okay, it looks as though d4 is uh, vulnerable, potentially. Um, knight d5 for bishop d4, just interrupting, interrupting d4. That looks sort of fun uh, I can't resist that okay just interrupting d4 oh hang on no that's okay just take like that still interrupting d4 Right, there's d takes on the queen if knight takes e takes is uh forcing the loss of the rook isn't that okay 
piercing through this diagonal at this rate. Um, yeah, it looks as though EF is is really good. Um, so bishop f7 knight e6 knight d8 unless there's anything stronger here there is there is rook d8 immediately maybe for queen e4 queen e4 not getting mated on rook d1 or anything Alright, thanks. Yeah, that was uh that was interesting. Okay. The Henker. Okay, Sicilian defensive E four. Oh, we had a crazy game the other day, didn't we, with this? Do I dare play D four? I'm not sure. Oh, this is a bit of a scary commitment. Mm, scary. Mm. There was this cautionary Soan game I checked out recently, which had some relevant ideas here to try and shut down this bishop with f6 early on. I, th I think cautionary hadn't had much sleep the night before. It didn't seem like it seemed like it was blundering every other move, but anyway, it's given me confidence to play this. Um, oh, can I play knight g6 here for bishop c5? Is that an idea? Is that too ambitious? I just I need to untangle anyway. It's oh, he's activated my rook, and he's that cemented that bishop in. Um, can I just play it like this? So bishop e six. If I castled, or in fact king f seven. I like the rook being activated. So what about just king f7, just leaving the rook, gazing down the h-file, king f7. Okay, I'll protect that somehow. b6 seems... Oh, does it run into knight b3 or something? Oh, a6, queen a4. Is that really the case? Can, can I not just move the bishop after? If needed, knight B three. I'm not really sure that would be uh, so helpful to play knight B three. All right, let's stop this knight going anywhere of interest. I think king F. Okay, he has gone there. Okay, I think king F seven. I've got the light square bishop without the counterpart. This is the one that needs to be celebrated somehow. It's almost being celebrated. With a6, b5, try and win the knight. If takes, takes, I take on b3. It's almost being immediately celebrated. I, th I think actually I will do that. The queen's checkmated. No. Mm. Well, I think I'll take the queen. <clears throat> 
All right, I can hit this uh, bishop. King f7 protects g7. Also, the knight is loose as well. Mm, not really convinced by this. Okay, thanks, Dahanka. Yeah, interesting. Atlanta Gambit. <clears throat> okay, Atlanta Gambit. He's going to pounce on f2 with queen f6. Okay, it looks as though the standard recipe applies f4, f5 at the moment. Or does it? Hang on. Might not. Might do. I, I don't know. I'm not entirely sure. Hmm. Let's try and get a nice knight on e4, if nothing else. Well, it's a semi open f file. Structurally, it looks worse, though. It looks as though I've been put into pawn islands. Can I keep this light square bishop? Hold on a sec. I don't mind taking that light square bishop. Right, there's nice pressure surely on the F file. With a D5 target, a big D5 target. I got D5 and F7 in my sights. I got the bishop without the counterpart here to celebrate. These are all light squares to celebrate with the bishop. The bishop without the counterpart. So d5 f7. Knight e7 hold for a moment. I play this other rook in though. Queen g6 rook f8 isn't that winning material. In fact, mm, rook f7, I'm hitting the knight. It looks devastating, rook f7. Yeah, so queen b2. Oh, I'm actually rook e7, uh, rook f1, and that's pinned. All right, there's an issue or two to solve. Um, okay, okay. Uh, that can be solved with rook here. If rook takes that check, I think I can solve it with rook here. If it needs to be solved. Rook here. Does it need to be solved? Queen c3. Wow. Hold on a sec. There's, hold on. Rook takes and bishop d5. No, it's pinned. Okay, there. Rook takes and bishop d5 is better. So rook, rook f2. So if rook takes, queen takes his check. If queen takes, I take there. Rook takes. There's a responsibility to protect the rook. Bishop takes d5 is check. 
So that's the way it goes. Except there's queen takes f2. Is that really the case? If I played King H1, let's try this whole thing with King H1 instead. A waiting move. So if Queen C3, then Rook F8, Rook F8, Bishop D5. King H1 just unpinning might be a powerful idea here. Just unpinning with King H1. Let's put a spanner in the works here for Black's tactics. King H1. King H1. Just unpinning for a moment. I think a lot of the tactics revolve around this pin. Or, or the pressure on F2, or that pressure on F2, the coordinated square F2. So Queen C3 here, Rook F8, Rook F8, Bishop D5, Knight D5, Queen D5, Rook F8, after the King moves. G6. How about Bishop D5 here? Oh no, as mentioned, Rook F8 for Bishop D5, as mentioned before now. It's, oh, he's protecting. He's protecting the rook. Oh man, there's still loads of work to do here. <laughs> he's protecting the rook. Of course, he's protecting the rook. Oh. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh crikey. Okay. <laughs> God, there's a ton of work to do here. There's a ton of work to do here. Okay, that's just fantastic. Is is there a ton of work to do here? I am a pawn up. Hold on, let's just get this pawn off. No, there's going to be a ton of work to do. Ah, uh, d5, d5. Hold on, hold on, d5. All right, can I, okay. Um, maybe C4. Am I asking for it if I play C4? So I keep my pawns connected with each other. Oh no! I'm losing pawns now. I'm losing my pawns now. What am I doing? I, I didn't mean to lose my pawns. Oh crikey.
this way? Can I run for the hills? D7. So tough. I've done I've sprained my hand on that. I don't know, I'm pressing too much on my mouse mat. Okay. <laughs> no, it's recovering. Thanks, thanks. That was, that was drama. Okay. That was a drama. Ralph Quest, did, did we play earlier, Ralph? I I seem to remember we played earlier. I, I'm gonna play people we haven't played yet. Okay. Okay, I think I got fried by uh, Friedel last week. Oh, is it back to London System Torch this week? <laughs> I thought it was a good adventure last week. Oh, dear. It's back to London System Torch this week, is it? Oh, man. Oh, man. The fun was good. We had, we used to have. <clears throat> the fun we used to have. <clears throat> last week. Mind you, I did get shredded, so, last week. Uh, I'm provoking something, a reaction. There's no reaction. A castle then. I'm going to castle. Okay. Is there E5? Tempted for E5 yet? <laughs> I might have to take that actually as it goes. Okay, there's knight before on c4. Would he want to do that? I want to maybe get rid of my French defense style bishop. And protect here. Okay, c4 might be dangerous though. Uh, there might be knight a7. Do I need knight a7 here is the question. Or do I wait for c4? Because that seems to checkmate the queen rather cheekily. Okay, I'll wait for c4 to try and checkmate the queen with knight a7. He wouldn't do c4, would he? Would he? <laughs> there is there is knight b4 as well. as an idea. Uh, it's not sure it's doing anything. Um... Knight a6. <laughs> yes. Oh, am I naughty? Am I naughty with these resources? Am I naughty? I'm actually, uh, that, that, that knight actually stops queen a6. If there was a square, it was extinguished. <laughs> oh, no. It's the second queen I've checkmated today. <laughs> Thank you, guys. <laughs> Thank you, guys. You took chunks out of me last week. Uh, I'm I'm having a great time this week. <laughs> Thanks. Oh yeah. Let me just check out your queens and and kings. Yeah, it's nice. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. It's nice for me to do this. I I enjoy I enjoy these games this week. <laughs> I'm sorry. You did crush me last week. <laughs> it's a revenge. You crushed me last week. To be fair, absolutely devastated me last week. <laughs> Don't feel bad. <laughs> when you feel bad, it means someone else feels good. So it's it's all good. <laughs> it's all good. Okay. Ah. Okay. So the bishop might. Get <laughs> the bishop. Might <laughs> the bishop might come back. Okay. 
Can I regain composure? It shouldn't be that much fun checkmating queens, should it? Okay. Uh, there's something naughty about it. I don't know what it is. Okay, something naughty about that. D5. D5. <laughs> ah, okay. Okay, can I, can I go here? Can I go here? By the way, I have a new tip for you if you're into films and Netflix. No, actually, not Netflix, no. Netflix actually doesn't support this tip. If you want this amazing tip, right? Top secret. So you're surrounded by film buffs, and you spend an hour trying to find a film none of them have seen before. Okay? A fantastic tip for you. This is only works on Amazon Film. Um... If you go by Film Studio on Amazon Search, uh, so Universal Studios is one of the big five. So search Universal Studios, yeah, in your Amazon Film Search, and you get all the films by Am uh, by Universal Studios, and they're usually really well done. Uh, the lot of budget, even if they don't do on set, they 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 push a lot of money to other film producers. So you get a really good gen generally the overall score on a Universal Films. Uh, studio film is pretty good I don't know if you've noticed um, so that's the one with the globe but further okay so you're surrounded by film buffs that have seen most of the universal films in the last five years so what do you do what you can do so if you've got um, you know the voice control for the thing uh, what you do is universal films top 50 or top 40 and it will tell you the top like 50 or 40 whatever that they've done and then that is a brilliant way of finding an amazing film. Used that last night for the first time, that trick. Found two amazing films by Universal Studios. So I'm just happy to share that with you, yeah? If you've ever used that trick, if you find it useful, please let me know on a future thing, yeah? So, because they don't offer that officially to search by the film studio. Uh, so there's five, like, classic film studios I think Walt Disney is one of them. Um, you'll find it on Wiki. There's five classic ones, but Universal Films is one of the absolute originals in the Hollywood area. But at the moment, yeah, they, they usually just push money towards other film uh, makers. <clears throat> so I watched two of those last night. One of them was Inside Job. So... Uh, my brother hadn't seen that before, Inside Job. It was over, I think, about seven rating. He hadn't seen it before. Brilliant film. Jodie Foster, Denzel Washington. Brilliant. And we found another one with the same technique. You just do top 50 Universal Studios or whatever studios you, you're looking for. Brilliant. Because <clears throat> otherwise you can just, you know, I don't want you guys wasting time, precious time, searching for a decent film, yeah? <clears throat> So, okay, let's hit this bishop and protect f7. What are the other? Paramount? What's the... That's Warner Brothers, is it? Paramount, Warner Brothers, Walt Disney. There's five. There's five major ones. And there's there's also what's called a sub-major one, uh, which has come sort of major recently. Uh, so, anyway. Okay, so let's see, c6, d5, As it, is f4 happening here if I play c6? If I play f6, I'm giving that f7 square, aren't I? I'm, what, what, hang on, hang on a sec, what's going on here? Queen, queen f2? Is queen f2 any good? Why isn't queen f2? Okay, I think f6 is a good precaution move. Ah, okay, so c6 and d5. Have any of you seen Inside Job? Fantastic film. Jodie Foster, brilliant actress. Uh, okay, this C4 is a bit... Uh, if I can play Knight C4. So Queen F2 to pin, pin that. Uh, can be subtle about it. Uh, with Queen H2, can be subtle about it. Uh, okay, rook h one ninety four. 
it's naughty, isn't it? I'm naughty tactician here. But you know, if you look into Nimzovich, he was a naughty tactician as well. He, he created all the positional principles, but he was a very naughty tactician if you look at his games. Nimzovich. Okay, so rook h1, knight c4. Naughty tactic alert. So this, I wouldn't normally do this, an open road to my king. It is protected by uh, f8, though. Um, Nimzovich, interestingly, uh, put pins in both his tactics category and his strategy category, because pins can actually be very quite short uh, and also quite long throughout an entire game, basing a whole strategy on, on a pin. Um, and in fact, Nimzovich himself was, there's an amazing game with a pin lasting a long time. Um, in the game he played against Alexander Ankine. Um Oh, hang on, hang on. I'm going to get in trouble here, aren't I? C6, C6 to stop knight D5. Yes, there is a bit of a backfire here. This isn't that clever, is it? Okay, D5, D5. If you search out this game of Alakine to be highly recommended versus Nimzovich, this pin, uh, I don't know if you can Google it at some point, there's this pin on uh, C6, which is lasting ages. The whole game's based on it. Classic game. D D4 seems really uh, dangerous here. D4 is probably is probably useful, especially after knight d1. There's back we're back to knight c4 being on the on on the uh, on the options menu. Maybe is my queen getting trapped soon while I'm playing this? <clears throat> knight c4 is plausible here, and then queen d2 after. Do I have to resort to these uh, moves? Though, why do I have to resort to these moves? Right, there's queen a3 though, king b1. Does that do anything? Yeah, probably queen. Uh, probably useful to chip away a pawn. Um, let me go back for queen. Hang on, is my queen now trapped? Oh, crikey. Don't tell me my queen is trapped after all that. What the heck have I done? What the heck have I done here? Am, am I imagining this? My queen's now trapped. That's just brilliant. I knew he'd do that. I've got knight h7. Okay, I'm under attack. Okay, it's just classic, isn't it? Okay. I can set up a fortress here. It's not yet a perpetual check. Ah, did I need to lose that pawn? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, I get my queen trapped. Ah, oh. okay. I don't know what happened there. That was weird. Um, I think I got distracted. My other passion of films is is distracting. Okay. <sighs> or rather the specialist skills you need to track a film if you're surrounded by film buffs that they have not seen before it's just very very hard okay so anyway this could be a quick one yes okay this is not to be recommended this opening uh yeah i i think shouldn't move the f pawn early as a general rule in the openings uh okay Let's uh, let's go again. Uh, 
Uh, are we playing some sort of exciting opening today? B5, just for fun. Pal Benko, who gave up his place to get Fisher into that um, the uh, candidate cycle, as well as doing the Benko Gambit. But his biggest sacrifice was for Fisher. And American chess generally. So Pal Benko, Benko Gambit. <clears throat> Bishop A six, Knight D seven, Michael Wilder. When he came to Lloyd's Back Masters years back, saw him on the demo boards with Banker Gamut. He was a bit of an exponent. He was a US champion one year, Michael Wilder, I think. And then went into banking or something. There's something to me dramatic about seeing, you know, the gambit openings on demo boards. Uh, it's quite fun to watch. Uh Queen A seven, Rook B eight. I think I, I just generally like dynamic piece pressure. Queen a7 and rook b8. So when it's playing quite solidly. <clears throat> so far. <clears throat> is c4 any good there's bishop e3 that's not good knight g4 h3 knight f2 king f2 c4 bishop e3 and this is something spectacular i'm missing c4 always runs into bishop e3 knight e5 let's try this to provoke f4 because c4 there for knight d3 looks Looks tasty actually. Yeah, ninety five fits the position quite well, doesn't it? F four there's C four check and uh, knight d three. Otherwise say a h three there's knight d three. If rook f one knight g four, the other one's a little gang up on f two. No 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 he's playing h three to extinguish g four. Okay, okay. Is there like is that G five here? For G four, is that really really dumb? Or just slightly dumb? I don't know, I'm weakening my king. Am I asking for a peace sack? I'm putting back on the table knight d3 here. But there might be a peace sack now. Knight d3, rook f1. He's protecting f2 adequately. Is there something else going on here? I, I think f2 is not, it's like a minor issue for white right now. Is that. Anything else going on? The light square is slightly theoretically compromised. Maybe this way around. Oh, here. Okay, c4, bishop e3 again. Bishop c8. Maybe go, go this way around. Bishop d7. There's f4. There's maybe takes and knight g6. There's a solid fill to my opponent. 
two pieces for the queen with c4, knight d3, bishop a7. Well, that's that's a bit of fun. But maybe knight takes, then c4, queen e3. Oh. Actually, I think this is too dangerous, isn't it? Because of um, the knight. If I played c4 here, there's knight g4, isn't there? For bishop d4. If queen a7, rook a7, fg, there's bishop c3. So, see, queen e3, knight g4, queen a7, rook a7, fg, bishop c3. So bishop d4 here. Well, if I took on h2, and then g4, we'll take here first, then g4. Was my knight stranded? Am I managing to strand my knight now in a dumb way? I think I need g4 before my knight stranded to rook h1. Hit this um, C three. Rook C two. All right, thanks. Thanks for the game. Uh, uh, there's only uh, there's a three-minute game challenge. Okay, that's good because there's only three minutes left. Let's play a three-minute challenge. Is it going to be a dreaded London system again? Okay. <laughs> yeah, thanks. <laughs> Great. Great. So, sort of French defense style position where I have got that horrendous c8 bishop issue to sort of sort out potentially. Uh, if I play rook b8 and b4. Okay, the knight's a bit of a liability. Now let's just put the king there for a moment. I mean, the bishop's a bit of a liability. Okay. Can I claw my way round to uh, c4? Try and get the d5 square with the diagonal opened up. If e takes, I get that diagonal opened up. So knight c4. Or knight b6 to d5. Might be a better proposition. When she's got the pressure now on b5. Can I play bishop f8? Trying to encourage this. Uh, something. Exchange sack. Is that? Okay, that's ideal. That's what I wanted. A nice knight there. c6 remains an issue, but. Um, Tied down now to c3. I've played queen c6 and bishop b7. There's always bishop f3 though. 
play this, see what he does about, um, oh, there's bishop c4, this is a liability, hang on, let's just get rid of that liability, bishop c4, okay, uh, let's try and cement d5 for a moment, I'm playing without this rook, let's try and shuffle this rook out for a moment, king g7, get this rook out, sort out d5, then set up a battery I think, on a3, if I can. How would I do that? Right over here for qu bishop, queen f8. Uh, this battery on a3, there's rook a2. Okay, I'll go to c6, that's where I wanted the bishop. Earlier on c6. Okay, strategically, this battery here is interesting as well. Probably a sacrificial b4 could be. Let's, let's have to watch out for bishop a4 again. All right, and my king side. No, no, no. Let's not borrow from the king side. Can I put some pressure on c3 again? No. It's actually rather solid. What do I do here? Wow. It's dynamic. C seven Things like Petrosian. Petrosian was adventurous with his king, waving his king around like red to a ball. Fugus bar off. Okay, thanks for the game, Friedel. Okay. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this week. Yeah, uh, one fun, <laughs> ten boring. Uh, if you want to quickly vote, yeah. Um, thanks for that. Yeah, that was great. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. And um, have a nice rest of the day. See you next week. Um, Thanks so much.